Now, before we look at grammar in depth, one of the things we want to do to start with is have some definitions to understand the terms that we're working with. So what I want to do is to start with is just go through the basic parts of speech. These are the building blocks of the language. Uh, so when you start, you want to learn how to put these building blocks together. Um, we want to know what those blocks are. Uh, the first part of speech is the noun. A noun names something. It'll name a person, a place, a thing, or an idea. Uh, a lot of people may have heard, well, a noun is a person, place, or a thing. It can also name an idea. So I can name a person, a uh, school teacher, or a specific person, Governor Martinez. I can name a place, uh, uh, the warehouse, um, Santa Fe, a thing, a car, a cat, um, an idea, things like love or peace, things like that. So a noun is something that names something. And one of the things you can do when you're trying to identify if something is a noun, it's going to answer the question, what or who? So if you have something that answers a question, what or who, it's going to be a noun. Um, we also have a very basic building block, the verb. A verb, a lot of people may have been told in the past a verb is an action word. It's not quite. A verb is something that uh, denotes an action or a state of being. So when you are looking for a verb, sometimes it's an action, things like run or read or break, things like that. Or it may also be what's known as a linking verb, which doesn't denote an action, but a state of being. For example, the verb to be is the most common state of being verb. Uh, but I might also have things like seems or appears or uh, even things like smells. Smells can be either one that has an action, uh, I smell the flowers, or it could be a state of being, the flowers smell sweet. And when we're later on looking at how to take a sentence apart, uh, the verb is kind of the key thing. You can't have a sentence without a verb, so that's the thing you're going to be hunting for when you are trying to dissect a sentence. Um, another part of speech is a conjunction. A conjunction is something that connects things. And we have several types of conjunctions. Uh, there are the coordinating conjunctions, which also you may know of as the fanboys. Uh, which are for, and, or, I mean, for, and, not, but, or, yet, and so. There are also other kinds of conjunctions called subordinating conjunctions, which are things like which, um, or uh, while, or because, or if, or those sorts of words. Those are also conjunctions. They're a different kind of conjunction. So conjunctions are things where you're going to connect one thing to another thing. Then we also have prepositions. A preposition is going to show a relationship and it's usually going to be of space or time. So prepositions are going to be um, 
very, they're sort of like conjunctions in that they're little words that connect things together. Um, so one of the most common prepositions is actually of, uh, which actually means belonging to. Um, we have things, uh, relationships of space, things like behind or under or those sorts of things. And we also have prepositions uh, that show a representation of time, things like before. Um, so those words, one of the key things we're going to look at it a little bit later is prepositions. Prepositions are going to always be followed by nouns or noun phrases, which are nouns plus the baggage that comes with them. And prepositions um, show a relationship of that noun that comes right after it, usually to whatever's right before it in the sentence.